Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for September 17th, 2024. Welcome back. It's time for the daily sports rush. And today we got a story about last night's game. Of course, Monday Night Football. What a thriller. If you missed it, we're going to get you caught up right now. Monday Night Football, where legends are made and nightmares come to life. And for the Eagles, this was a nightmare. Kirk Cousins, the man Atlanta shelled out $180 million for, looked every bit of hero in the final minutes. With just 34 seconds left, Cousins connects with Drake London for a seven-yard touchdown, sending the Falcons up 22-21 to over the stunned Eagles. This wasn't the same Cousins we saw struggling in week one. Oh, no. This was Cousins the Atlanta paid for, the clutch QB with ice in his veins. The Falcons' final drive was a master class. Cousins went five for six for 70 yards. It took just 65 seconds to rip the win away from Philly. And the cherry on top, Young Ho Koo's 48-yard extra point after London's unsportsmanlike conduct flag. The Falcons left the Eagles with no answer, and Jalen Hurts' final pass was picked off by Jesse Bates to seal the deal. For the Eagles, it was all about what could have been. Hertz did his part with a one-yard tush-push touchdown earlier, but it wasn't enough to hold off the Falcons, a team on fire. Now, we got to talk about the play that Philly fans will be cursing for weeks. Saquon Barkley, fresh off a 95-yard performance, had a chance to put the game on ice. A simple third down pass, wide open in the flat, and it slips right through his hands. If he makes that catch, the Eagles walk out with a win. Simple as that. But he didn't, and Atlanta made him pay big time. Barkley owned up to the mistake, saying, I let my team down, he said. And hey, credit him for taking the responsibility here. But man, that's got to sting. Philly had no choice but to settle for a field goal after the drop, going up 21-15, but leaving just enough time on the clock for Cousins to work his magic, and we all saw what happened next. Comeback complete. Jalen Hurts, ever the leader, consoled Barkley in the locker room afterward, telling him they'll be fine. But if you're an Eagles fan, you know that drop changed the entire game. Philly should be 2-0, but instead, they're licking their wounds at 1-1. So how did the Falcons pull off this absolute stunner? Two words, Kirk Cousins. After years of being the league's punchline in primetime games, the man's now 4-1 on Monday Night Football. That final drive was a thing of beauty, calm, efficient, and lethal. And don't sleep on Darnell Mooney either. He made two clutch catches that set up the game-winning TD to London. But it wasn't just the Falcons' offense that stepped up. Jesse Bates III, the safety Atlanta paid big money for, came through in the biggest moment, picking off Jalen Hurts to ice the game. Bates was all over the field with 12 tackles and the game-clinching play. That's how you earn your paycheck. Meanwhile, the Eagles are left wondering what went wrong. Why throw it on third down when Barkley was running so well? Why settle for a field goal instead of finishing the game? And where was the pressure on Cousins during that final drive? Philly's defense went soft, and it cost them big time. As for what's next, the Falcons return home to face the defending Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. No pressure, right? I mean, hey, and the Eagles, well, they'll try to bounce back against the undefeated Saints team. They better fix those mistakes quick because the NFC waits for no one. All right, that's a wrap for the Daily Sports Rush. Falcons fans, enjoy this one because it's going to be talked about for a long time. Check out sportsnot.com for more on this story and in-depth coverage of the NFL all season long. We'll see you tomorrow.